Pablo Lopez, 24th start of the season, and with every start, it's a new career high in both starts and innings. He's facing the Padres for the second time this season. One down here in the first inning for Juan Soto. Line to right, and that's going to get in for a hit. Over is Brian Anderson to play it quickly. Soto throws the brakes on, but he's aboard with a single. So aboard at first base with one away, and it brings up Manny Machado. 2 2 he is lined in the left field a base hit up over the shortstop Joey Wendell and into left and the Padres have runners at first and second with one away two down first and third and here is Josh Bell a little change of scenery for Josh Bell the number five spot and that is ball four to load the bases so Bell down to first base with the walk the first walk by Pablo Lopez let's see if Jake uh, can work some two out magic here it's in three of his last four games. Fly ball deep right field. Back goes Brian Anderson onto the track at the wall. The Slam Diego Padres are in Miami. And Jake Cronenworth sends one to the Crone Zone. The Padres jump out to a 4 0 lead. Boy, did everybody need that. And when I say everybody, everybody. Starting, of course, with Jake. The guys on the bases, the guys in the dugout, fans watching. Big time drought with runners in scoring position. Jake Cronenworth coming through. Duly noted, Slam Diego does travel. Oh, they got the Black Panther on the bench. Mound visit is over, and Hassan Kim will face him. We have Grisham on first and two away. To left field, and Blade going back onto the warning track. Won't get it. It's over his head. One hops the wall as Grisham makes his way around. He will score the fifth Padres run. And they keep it going here in the first inning on top 5 nothing. Mike Clevenger has been posted a 5 nothing lead even before he's thrown a pitch. And the big key here, quickly throw up a zero, get back in there. 15 start, 13. Okay, let's, let's check. How many starts? It's going to be 14 done. He's coming off a win against the Washington Nationals and gets set for the start here against Wendell and company. Seemed to work right there. Line drive right field off the wall for Wendell. Soto gets it in, but it will be a double for Joey Wendell. That's what you do. You focus on the release point. You focus on the baseball. And you pick up your 14th double. Here comes a fastball. There's a swing. Joey Wendell has that nice, compact, solid swing. And sends it quickly over the head of Juan Soto. I think I'd pull a muscle if I did that. <laughs> so a man in scoring position for John Birdie. We'll see if the Marlins can answer back after the leadoff two base hit. They will base hit right up the middle for John Birdie. This one might head all the way toward the track. A stand up RBI double for Burt and the Marlins are down five to one. Hey, you don't look at all the gyrations. You look at the ball. Here comes the slider. Nice to have John Birdie back. He's been swinging it pretty well. Sixth game now since coming off the I.L. You know that's an easy score right there. On our third with two down. Nick Fortes who had two home runs last night. It's a fly ball to center. And Grisham is there to make the catch. That ends the inning. The Marlins get one back. We played one. It's 5-1 San Diego. Up a run in the first inning. As he works here to the leadoff hitter Charles LeBlanc in the second inning. Popped up. Over again comes Bell. Leaning and Bell makes the catch. Able to lean at the railing to make the grab. Nice play by Josh Bell. Josh Bell all over the place. Flash look. Gets to the farthest point. Extension and the webbing. Grabs it. Right over by the camera. Well, that is a big out. Very nice play. One on, one out, and Lewin Diaz coming up. That's into right. Soto plays it on a hop, knocks it down. Fortes will stop at second base. A knock for Lewin, and the Marlins have two on and one out. Well, now it's stalling. So can one of the hottest hitters for the Marlins come up with a big knock here? And Stallings comes through. Line drive single to center. Grisham's got it. Here comes the throw. It's cut off by Bell. He spikes it over to third where they get Lewin. Run does score. RBI single for Jacob Stallings and the Marlins are down five to two. Good news bad news just another solid swing from Jacob Stallings last 18 games now about 400 average. All right you're the runner you stutter step around second you got to follow the ball you you can't get thrown out there because you want to have a big inning. Nice job by Jacob 
Not good base running by Lewin Diaz. Two down on a runner at first base. They do have a run in. And here's Peyton Burdick. Swing and a miss, and Clevenger is able to strike out Burdick to end the inning. Now the Marlins get a run back. It's 5-2 Padres. Soto at first, nobody out for Machado. It would be nice for the Padres to get one of those two runs back that the Marlins got in the first. Bloop down the right field line, and that's going to fall fair. Heading first to third is Soto. He'll be stopped at third into second base safely on the slide is Manny Machado. So Manny Machado for the eighth straight game has multi hits. A single in the first and a double here in the fifth. Makes it look easy. And he's blowing a bubble before he goes into the pop up slide for the double. Second and third and Brandon Drury now standing in. Back up the middle and diving is the second baseman LeBlanc. He'll go to first base. They get the out there, but in the back door, Soto scores, and the Padres take a 6-2 lead. Good diving play by LeBlanc in a shift. Had to come back to the right side, and in from third is Soto. Saved a run right there. A very, very nice play to his left. Spectacular play. One down here in the fifth inning. No advance for Wendell at second base, still in scoring position. And he drives this one out towards center, and it's going to get down and one hop the wall. Wendell's going to score. Anderson with an RBI double. Marlins with some extra base hits, and this one, that's their fourth double of the game. Here comes the spinner, and Brian Anderson attacks it. Ball stayed inside. He's had some good swings. Good to see him get this ball in the cap. Padres go to the bullpen. Adrian Morahone out of Cuba will pitch in his 14th game this season. 3 1 pitch coming. That's inside. Wow. And did he? That got him on the knee, I think. So Anderson to third, Blade to second, Fortes at first base the hard way, and here's Charles LeBlanc. Swing and a miss, and strikes him out. Fastball kind of running in. Needed that, and that is out number two of the fifth inning. The pinch hitter coming up, Jesus Aguilar. Aguilar strikes out. He did stay with the Heat. 98 right down the middle as it turned out. So the Marlins get a run, but they leave them loaded. Welcome back. Cole Sulser is on to pitch. 6-3 the score. Kim at third, Nola at second, and Machado at first. Here it comes, and a swing and a miss. Welcome back, Cole Sulser. Huge strikeout, strands the bases loaded. So Kim to third, Nola to second with one out. That'll bring up Juan Soto. This will score through Stallings and coming from third base and scoring is Kim. Seven to three, Padres take the lead. So here's Machado first and third and a run home. Ground ball to second for one, on to first, double play. All right, so there you go. There's your uh, announcer's curse. Seven to three though. Second free pass today of the intentional variety. Aces loaded one out for the Padres on top seven to three. Line down the left field line. That's a fair ball headed towards the corner. Drury will score. Bell behind him and all the way from first base comes Grisham. He'll score. Base is clearing double for Ha Sung Kim and the Padres take a 10-3 lead. Third hit of the day for Ha Sung Kim. Oh, what a great day in the big leagues for the Padres shortstop. Breaking ball just hung up there. There's some insurance right there. Busting it open. Three runs in here in the top of the ninth inning on top 10-3. Padres pitching right now in a stretch in which they've retired eight Marlins in a row and have two outs in the ninth inning. That is strike three call, and that will end the ball game. So a 1-2-3 ninth inning. The Padres salvage the final game of the series. It is the Padres 10 and the Marlins 3.